<clears throat> well, Jade, you came real close to beating me last week as I went 10-5-1 and, and you went 9-6-1. and one. You know who else came really close and then blew it at the last second? The Vikings. Karasi Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packers, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grassi. And I'm Jade Grassi. And that's right. We are back for another week of NFL predictions on the year. I am 35, 12, and 1. Thanks, Bengals and Eagles. And Jade is 27, 20, and 1. They're almost even. I mean, equal. By eight games. So you just have to pick eight games differently from me and get them all right. Yeah, pick the Vikings to win. <laughs> That's not fair. Because you know they suck. Mm. Well, listen, and I quote, when I told you the Ravens were getting blown out, you said I have to stop rooting for purple teams. I didn't say that. You said that last night while you were in bed and I was yelling like a maniac while I was streaming. Sometimes things get said in the bedroom that should stay in the bedroom. Like sloppy Saturdays. We're no, back, boys! No. 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 So let's get down to it. Starting off with a Thursday night game, which might as well take place in an ambulance. You have the Denver Broncos versus the New Jersey Jets. The New Jersey Jets are the worst team in football. Not one of, are the worst team in football. There is not a single redeemable quality about them right now in the year of our Lord 2020. Whoa. They are abysmal. Just going off the Gregorian calendar. They are terrible. Sam Darnold seeing some types of ghosts, and it's a possession. And who is he being possessed by? Not a good quarterback. Adam Gase? Might be that demon. I, I have yet to confirm, but it, it could happen. The defense, got awful Offense, can't get anything going. They're bad. Now, the Broncos, yeah, going back to the ambulance comment, they've lost everybody. They don't have their QB. They don't have some wide receivers. They don't have a defense. It's, it's, it's just bad. Who is going to win this game? I'm just worried that either team is not going to stay alive by the end of the game. So... Right off the bat, Broncos have, like, a no-name quarterback going right now. And I'm still going to pick the no-name quarterback. I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos here. I was also going to go with the Broncos. There you go. <laughs> then you got the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> you lost last week. Going up against the Detroit Lions, who won their first game last week Yay, against Lions. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. Good job, Lions. Saints on that two-game losing streak, losing Sunday night against... The Green Bay mother-loving Packers. Oh, am I wearing their shirt? Oh, am I surrounded by the merch? That's weird. Yeah, Didn't so plan weird. that. The Lions, like I said, coming off a nail-biter, winning at the last second. Is this going to be the turning point for Matt Patricia and the Lions? Probably not. The Saints, though, they're struggling. They're struggling a little bit. Will they have Michael Thomas back? Potentially. I'm still going to go with the Saints here because they were still effective against the Packers, and I think they're a better team than the Lions. So I'm going to go with the Saints. Me too. Then you got the L.A. Chargers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Chargers, yeah, didn't have it last week. But the Buccaneers, they did. I'm telling you, Tampa Brady is going to just get better and better every single week. Chargers, you're going to have Herbert start again, who's literally like half the age of Tom Brady. We're about to teach the young man a lesson. Buccaneers, that defense should eat him alive. What'd you call him? Who? The Buccaneers? Tom Pa Brady, because it's Tom Brady. Did you make that up? No, I'm not clever enough. <laughs> Some marketing team. Tom Pa Brady. Yeah. Bet he regrets going to the team because of that. That's an awful name. They're giving him a lot of money, so probably not. Uh, I'm going to go with the Buccaneers as there well. There you go. Then you got the Battle of the Kitty Cats. Real. You got the Jacksonville Jaguars, led by Gardner Minshew, taking on the Bengals, led by Joe Burrow. Do Jaguars, like, could they go in a burrow? Can they live in there? 
I don't know enough about them. I just know that jaguars can take down a caiman. I don't know if they can. You need to learn a new fact. Look it up. Okay. Can jaguars burrow? No. It doesn't look like, but here's a fun fact. They're very good swimmers. It's meerkats. He's distracted. It's Timon. The Jaguars getting beaten up by Ryan Fitzmagic last week. The Dolphins came to town, and Fitzpatrick was like, young man, I'm going to show you what facial hair really is. The Bengals, they tied with the Eagles. I think that's a greater insult to the Eagles. Joe Burrow is on a team that is just downright awful. They have no offensive line, and I really worry for that man's soul. I'm going to say the Jaguars win. I had a moment. Um, had a moment for 10 years. The chair went too far back, so I had to lock it so I didn't fly backwards. Joe Burrow, wish he could go back to LSU. Had the Bengals won any? No, they just tied. Oh, are the Jaguars good? Not really, but Gardner Minshew is beautiful. Well, then you would argue both quarterbacks are good. Yes. I'll go with the Bengals. Oh, okay. Then you have the Minnesota Chokers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was rude. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I did. The Vikings taking on the Texans. Neither team have won a single game. Come on, Vikings. Rumors that Earl Thomas is going to be going to the Texans might actually make that defense not roadkill. But at the same time... The Texans still have no offensive line. Deshaun Watson is running for his life, and they're pretty awful. The Vikings, same, except they don't have Deshaun Watson. You know, they, ha- they had the lead. They are about to beat the Titans last week, and then... It didn't. Didn't happen. So, with that being said, I'm going to pick the Minnesota Vikings because I don't know if Daniel Hunter's supposed to come back. He might. But I think the Vikings against the... You picked the Vikings. You feel Okay. Feel a lot better than the Vikings. Oh boy. Vikings win. Because again, I think I think they're gonna that pass rush is gonna get after Deshaun Watson. And plus, I'm pretty sure, sure. when I pick the Vikings, they said. lose. So Well then I picked the Vikings to counter that. Rude. But you didn't counter it, you picked the same pick as me. No, but not because you said when you pick the Vikings, they lose. So if I pick the Vikings, maybe it would counter your hoping the Vikings lose. You've picked the Vikings all three weeks and they've Shh. lost all three weeks, so Everybody. When is the Vikings faithful going to turn against Jade? No. They're not going to accept you. Uh, come to my window. Oh. Come on inside. Weep by the light of the Lambo. Aw. Is that a yes? What? You're going to become a Packers fan. Are you going to marry me again? If you become a Packers fan. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. No, you won't. Yeah, I'll divorce you right now. I'll divorce you right now. Let's go. Making dad proud. (laughs) The Seahawks coming off an impressive win and a 3-0 start. Russell Wilson is a cooking baby. Dolphins, they had a good showing on Thursday night. But yeah, I think the Seahawks are one of the best teams in the NFL right now. Their defense, a little sus. A little sus. But the Seahawks are going to take this game. Ba-boom. What does sus mean? Suspect. That's what the kids say. They say sus. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I just thought it was like you make like pasta and sus, but it's no. not it. No. No. It's not Seahawks. it. Seahawks. Okay. The game that follows uh... that one is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Tennessee Titans. Now, there's a good chance this game does not happen because eight members of the Tennessee Titans tested positive for COVID uh, on Tuesday. Way to go, Tennessee! <laughs> Three players and five personnel. All you had to do was quarantine so that football can happen and you can't even do that thanks for ruining everything good hey jade you know who the titans played on sunday right (laughs) you ruin everything i mean listen this might be a great excuse for the vikings not to play and lose the game so no but then it's gonna spread and then the nfl is not gonna happen because people don't know how to quarantine but at the same time COVID is real but at the same time the Vikings have, like, their secondary has done a really good job of social distancing from receivers That's to let true. them just catch the ball and run into the end zone. I know, you've said that before. Yeah. Anyway, so if this game does happen, this should be a really good game. The Titans, I I don't have a ton of faith. They obviously had a big comeback against the uh, the Vikings. 
Steelers look like a very well-balanced football team. That defense is on point right now. Titans are just looking too sluggish for me, and I don't know if Derrick Henry is going to find a lot of running lanes. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. Me too. Okay. The next game that is thrusted upon us is the Cleveland Browns versus the Dallas Cowboys. Before the season started, I would have been like, oh, the Cowboys are going to run away with this. But now, not so sure. They had like that one game against Atlanta where they came back and they won. And now, nothing. Yeah, they're sitting at one and two. The Washington football team is leading the division. 2020, everybody. The Browns, though, not looking god-awful. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, playing very, very well. This is going to be a good football game. My gut is saying go with the Browns. But at the same time, the Browns always let you down. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys because worst case scenario, whoever loses, it it really is a win. Because even if the Cowboys lose, Raffle Cowboys. Cowboys. I'm going to go with the Browns. There you go. Transitioning, the Cardinals and the Panthers are the next game that are afoot. The Cardinals (laughs) ran over your foot. The Cardinals getting their first loss to the Detroit Lions. Taking on the Panthers, who got their first win. Now, Cardinals had some problems with Kitty Cat because they lost to the Lions. Meow. Now they're going up against the Panthers with a Christian McCaffrey-less Panthers. I feel like the Cardinals are going to bounce back. Kyler Murray won't throw three interceptions this time. Cardinals beat the Panthers. I'm going to go with the Panthers because now that they got the first taste of blood, they're going to come in for more. They have shark? No, but they are a predator. They have more wins than the Vikings. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> Can't slap a win out of the Vikings right now. <laughs> oh my God. Following that, you have the Indianapolis Colts against the Chicago Bears. Colts look pretty good. I mean, again, they're also playing garbage teams, but they have a pretty soft schedule, but pretty good. The Bears have somehow, someway made it to 3-0. and Honestly, by the grace of God, maybe. Maybe. Satan, maybe. Not. maybe whatever. Might be the... Buddha? Yeah. Vishnu? The Bears have named Nick Foles as their official starter as... The Trubisky era is at an end. Wait, what happened? Gone too soon. Wait, 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 wait. Mitch Trubisky got benched. Is he lead quarterback? He was, but not anymore. Why did he get benched? Because he sucks. But then how are they winning? Good, it's a good call. But yeah, Nick Foles won them that last game. So he wasn't playing well enough. Nick Foles wasn't always on the Bears. No, he's been on like every team. I was going to say, he's another name that I feel like Eagles, I Jaguars. I think I remember Eagles. Well, he won the Super Bowl with them. Oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. This should be a good football game. I want to say the Bears, maybe Nick Foles is going to come out and it's just light the world on fire, but the Colts have been looking pretty good. <laughs> That was me. My gut is saying the Bears. Football. And I'm going to go against my gut again and say the Colts. I'm going with the Bears. There you go. Our next game is the Baltimore Ravens versus the Washington football team. The Baltimore Ravens got embarrassed on Monday night by the Kansas City Chiefs. Embarrassed. It was pitiful. Disgusting. Thankfully, they're playing the Washington football team next with Dwayne Haskins. So they'll be able to rebound real, real quick. And I assume they're going to take all their rage out on the Washington football team. Ravens. Ravens. Oh, God. Then you have the New York Giants who are just, they're almost as bad as the Jets. They're, I was going to say, are they better or they're, worse? No, they're than worse, the but I mean, I'm sorry, they're better, but like by a smidge, not by much. Taking on the Rams, the Rams almost took down the Buffalo Bills, almost completed the comeback, but alas, fell just short. Yeah, the Rams are going to dominate this game. The Giants. May God have mercy on your soul. Rams. Then you have what I would argue probably the best game of the weekend, and that is the Patriots versus the Chiefs. Patriots, looking strong, looking good, beat the Raiders. Chiefs, looking like the best team in football. I think the Patriots will give the Chiefs a run for their money, but ultimately, the Chiefs are going to Chiefs. Chiefs are going to win. Chiefs! Following that, you got another good game, the Bills versus the Raiders. Bills Bills. squeaking out a win. Bills! Squeaking it out. Raiders... They, they were on the other end. They lost. They, they, they definitely lost. Josh Jacobs needs to get involved early. Josh Allen, I would assume, is going to continue to tear it up as a lot of Bills Mafia are saying, hey, give that man an MVP. And I'm like, calm down. Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers still exist. But they've been playing really well. I'll go with the Bills here. I'm going with the Bills, too. 
And before we transition to the next game, yeah. I want everyone we to have a sponsor? understand my logic here. Do we have a sponsor? Do we? I don't know. That sounds like what you're breaking for. No. Oh. So, a very good friend of mine is a big Bills fan, and his name is Jimmy. I call him James, but Jimmy. And, and I know that that's zero connection to, to what I'm about to show, but I just want to have you understand my, my thinking. So some fans were so thoughtful to get this blanket for me because I'm always cold down here, which is 110% correct. Just not today, because today the weather was poopy with rain. But you'll see my connection here. Team Jimmy, the heart, on this very soft blanket. I thought this would be a good time to transition to show and say thank you for my blanket that I can't wait to wear when it gets when it gets cold down here. I was showing it off. I was helping oh, me. I thought you were wiping your head. No. So, Jade, I think I need you to say right here and right now, are you officially Team Jimmy instead of Team Jim B? I don't, I don't know who, who those people are to be able to say. That's a lie. We talk about them all the I time. I know we talk your... about them all the time, but I don't know, like, who they are or what they look like. Or What or does their I... looks have to do with anything, you shallow because, human being? No, because I need to put a face to the person that I'm, I'm on the team of. It's like when Twilight came out, it was Team Edward or Team Jacob. Like, there was a face to the team. I need to know the face to the teams here. And I'm very thankful for this blanket because I'm definitely going to put it to very good use. Here's what I'm going to say. If you watched my 100K celebration video, you would have seen both of them. Well, regardless if she's Team Jimmy or Team Jim B, we Thank all know you. she's not Team Tom. Mm, I'm Team Tom. That's why I married you. You married me for my money. Yeah, you didn't have money when I married you. Don't really have that much money now. Exactly. Then on the Sunday night game, talking about the IR Bowl, you have the IR Bowl here with the Eagles and the 49ers. Both teams struggling with injuries. Carson Wentz is just struggling with life overall and that terrible, terrible offensive line. The 49ers... I mean, is Jimmy G going to come back? Is Mostert going to come back? They got all the injuries, and still they destroyed the Giants. I have a feeling they'll uh, claim another victim on Sunday night. 49ers. I also wasn't listening I, to what I, you I, said. I, I, ah. I, I, let it rain over me. If my body don't lie. Am I keeping Carson Wentz out of my fantasy? I would. Great, so then I'll go with the 49ers. Okay. Monday night, saving the best for last. The number one scoring offense in the league against the worst defense in the league. The Green Bay Packers are coming home to Lambeau Field to take on the Atlanta freaking fracking Falcons. The Falcons are the first team to blow two 15-plus point leads in the fourth quarter in a single season, and they just did it back-to-back. -back. Nice job, Falcons. I imagine this is actually going to be a better game than people are going to give it credit for. I think the Falcons... The Falcons. I think the Falcons are going to come out hungry. Falcons. They're going to come out angry, and they're still going to lose, so I'm going to go with the Packers. Constipated? No, I was angry. Because you were constipated. Yep, still looking like constipated. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with the Packers, too. <gasps> You've picked them a bunch of weeks now. No. <clears throat> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Play your cards right, and we could uh, have some fun in that blanket later. Ow! Uh. <laughs> Stop it. BDSM Mondays are for Stop Mondays. Yeah, I'm sorry, I came back! We better back! boys but let us know what you think down in the comments below who you got for this week let us know what you think you can always send me at tomgrassacomedy.com or at tomgrassacomedy on all social media see down below check out podcasts on soundcloud itunes google play music spotify and of course youtube and a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash tomgrassacomedy and the youtube members hey <laughs> but thanks so much for watching you just like because my hair is like this right now yeah you're cute <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. Ow, I'm my Grassi. rib. <laughs>
And as always, go Pack Go. We'll be right back.